Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And in today's video, we're going over all of the new stuff that just recently came out uh, for the Globals version of our third anniversary, okay? Now, a lot of stuff came out. Um, some of them events, some of them kind of like campaign-ish type stuff going on. There's also a lottery <laughs> going on as well. Go figure. <laughs> uh, but to be honest, throughout everything that's been released, at least as of right now for today, right now there's gonna be access to a whole lot of free jewels uh, that you could potentially earn, okay? Even just today, I went from having literally, I believe literally like zero jewels to having like seven, 17K jewels, okay? All in one day. There's a lot and I think there's more to be coming as well. Real quick, we've just been going through all of the uh, notices that we just got. Uh, going in order. Okay, so the first one for today is this one. Third anniversary commemoration deal. Okay, so it's a new banner. Now, truthfully, okay, now when you first log in for today, you should have received uh, 10,000 free jewels. This picture should be up on the screen as well. Uh, should have received 10,000 free jewels as part of the third anniversary kind of like gift. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you, especially with all the other jewels that you'll be able to earn throughout the rest of the uh, anniversary events and stuff as well, uh, might be tempted to pull on some of the Kingdom Hearts 3 banners. Personally, for me, I don't believe that the Kingdom Hearts 3 banners are really that worth pulling for i know right now a lot of people are going absolutely crazy for the uh sora over there hold on we just for <laughs> this guy right here a lot of people are going nuts for monster sora over here now personally i don't really feel like he's that big of a deal uh because a outside of pvps he's honestly not the greatest of metal he's decent but not the greatest um and even for pvp purposes uh, as of right now, it's the rewards from PvP are honestly pretty evenly spread out throughout the tier brackets. So even though if you have a Monster Sora, you could probably significantly get higher in the uh, tier brackets. Um, you don't necessarily even you don't need to be like top three thousand, top five thousand to get decent rewards from PvP. Okay, uh, especially in terms for the Meow Wows, because that's honestly the biggest thing that you want to get right now are the Meow Wows from PvP, from the premium tickets or platinum tickets, whatever they're called, I forgot. Uh, because even the Meow Wows alone, there's only three different types of Meow Wows at the moment. Tier 7, 8, and 9, okay? And each of them are honestly fairly easy to obtain at the moment. So I wouldn't worry too much about trying to obtain Monster Sora. I don't have a Monster Sora yet either, and I'm not really going too crazy about him, okay? So one thing to note about these banners though is that each of the banners, the free-to-play... The... <laughs> This one, the free to play banner and the VIP banner both have let you draw once for free, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's free medals for you right there. You could potentially even get some of the medals you need just from those free pulls right there. You're guaranteed at least two uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 medals within the free to play banner and four Kingdom Hearts 3 medals in the VIP banner, just kind of like usual right now. And it is worth noting as well that the free to play banner, and I started doing this since the last banner, which is honestly, really good and it, it shows that they're that they're, they're listening but the free-to-play banners are now starting to have 10 mercy pulls whereas the vip banners are now starting to have five mercy pulls so it, it's a thumbs up for free-to-play players at the very least you got your mercy pulls back they're not five, five pull anymore which kind of sucks but at least you got your mercy pull back next up we have some returning avatar boards we got terran aqua comeback uh, apparently this was from popular demand probably from the twitter section so if you have Twitter and you aren't already following the uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Twitter account, I highly recommend doing so because it does look like that lately they have been like actually taking our feedback into account. <laughs> In terms of the outfits though, the avatar boys, honestly, none of it is worth mentioning. They're all pretty much almost the entire thing is trash. Uh, unless you need like Huey Dewey Louis, Chips and Dales. Um, the perks aren't really that great either. Pretty much at this point, because these outfits are super out, the or these avatar boards are super outdated, the only reason you really want to get these is for the aesthetics, and that's it. Um, which makes sense, because loads of people love Aqua, lots of people like Terra, so I understand. 
Next up, they brought back the return of the Sephiroth event that we received last year. Now, one thing worth uh, mentioning about this event though, is the fact that it's literally the same exact difficulty that it was last year. So any of today's medals, especially any of the uh, uh, new like Meow Wow evolvable medals are definitely going to just completely murder this entire event, okay? Like quite literally, even for my own, I, I, I managed to beat this event using solely uh, my Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie's Supernova ability. I didn't even use a metal, I didn't even cast a metal yet. I killed him in one hit uh, on my first, my first ability. So it's gonna be really easy and it's a nice return. Uh, so don't expect anything remotely like significant from this event itself. Uh, on top of the fact that if you already beat the event last year, uh, you won't be receiving any new rewards either. Okay, they're gonna show up as completely completed already. Speaking of Sephiroth, the Hades Cup makes a return, uh, in which case you can earn up to 6,000 jewels and 1,000 event coins as well, as well as a few uh, gems thrown in too. Now, this Hades Cup is honestly, this is where the real challenge uh, comes in. And in case you haven't made it all the way to the last few uh, stages of the Hades Cup, uh, you do get to fight Cloud, Hades, and Sephiroth again, okay? Sephiroth in this Hades Cup is where the real challenge against Sephiroth is, at least for right now, for, you know, today's meta. Okay, so if the last year's, uh, the previous event of Sephiroth from last year didn't satisfy you, uh, don't worry, you'll definitely get your... <laughs> You'll definitely get your medals worth in this event. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Um, it was a nice little kind of like puzzle for me to figure out. Uh, I made a guide video already on how to beat Sephiroth in case he happens to give you trouble. I might consider making another two videos to cover how to beat Cloud and how to beat Hades just because I have been getting a bunch of comments already about people not being able to beat those. Uh, I'm not too sure just yet, but if I do, you, you'll, you'll see it. It is worth mentioning though about the Hades Cup that the jewels are only able to be received on rounds 10 and 15. You get 1,000 jewels for beating round 10 and you get 5,000 jewels from beating round 15. Okay, so especially for those 5,000 jewels, uh, if you can't beat Sephiroth on your first run through or something, I highly recommend checking out my guide. I'll leave a little uh, card up above in case you want to go ahead and check that out. Next up, we have the third anniversary quiz event. You're able to receive up to 1,000 jewels from this event. Um, it's honestly fairly easy. I'll be making another, another guide for this event as well to help any of you guys out in case you don't know the answers to them. Um, but it's honestly pretty straightforward. Next up, we have the third anniversary daily event. It's literally a daily quest that refreshes every single day. So I highly recommend doing it because if you don't, you're gonna be losing out on some of the event coins that you, you would have received from previous days. Uh, and it just helps you be able to fill out the boards uh, that we currently have for the Sora Chippendale medal at the moment, okay? Uh, and in case you're not aware as well, and I'll go ahead and just show you. Um, the second board for the Sora Chippendale uh, event boards is completely filled with just free jewels. Uh, I'll have it pop up here in a sec. And it goes in order of like, you can unlock them in terms of like 100s or 10s. So event boards, I completed the first one already, as you can see right here. Okay, you don't you you don't get that many jewels for them. Uh, you only get 500 jewels at the very end of the first board. It's the second board though, where you can actually get a decent amount of jewels, uh, right here. Okay, so this entire thing is just free jewels. It goes in order of getting 100 jewels, then 10 jewels, then 100 jewels, then 10 jewels, on and on and on until the very end. Okay, the very last one is 500 jewels. Um, All together though, I believe the total amount. Uh, between the two boards is 2,000 jewels total. Okay, so just between the free 10,000 jewels that you get just from logging in, uh, there's 2,000 jewels from the event boards. You get 1,000 jewels from the quiz event. You get 6,000 jewels if you can complete the entire Hades Cup. On top of the fact that there is a 1 million jewel sweepstakes currently going on in the game, okay? I highly recommend you log in every day, at the very least, to pull on this, okay? Because every five times you pull from this banner, you're guaranteed at least one Moogle medal, as shown in the banner right there, okay? And the way that the sweepstakes works is that for every Moogle medal that you own by the end of the sweepstakes, uh, 
that counts as one application entry uh, for the sweepstakes, okay? And then after they've calculated it and whatnot, they'll select their winners. And for the winners, uh, there's actually quite a long list of potential prizes that look at that. So this is the list. First place gets 1 million jewels, which is absolutely ridiculous. If you're a free-to-play player and you get this, this is like, I believe this is the equivalent of like 33 10, 10 pull mercies. <laughs> this alone could probably last you an entire year on its own. And that's assuming you actually completely mercy every single like banner that comes out okay so if you win i can only imagine like how incredibly like op and like <laughs> happy you must be if you win okay but second place gets a hundred thousand jewels third place ten thousand jewels fourth place five thousand jewels fifth place three thousand jewels and everybody for participating um if you have at least one Mugu medal i should add We'll get at least 1,000 jewels, regardless, okay? And then there's also a special prize, uh, prize that it gets awarded to one random winner, where they can get at least one free copy of a Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora, Riku, Kairi, uh, and five trait medals for each of the three medals, okay? So, it's a pretty cool sweepstakes, honestly, really fun. Um, even though there's a good chance the majority of us are not going to win, it's still really cool nonetheless. Now, last thing real quick before I move on to the next topic. Uh, it is worth mentioning that the free Moogle medals shown up above can be fused into your medals to count as uh, kind of like the Chippendale medal that came out in the VIP quest uh, for this last week. Where if you fuse them into the metal, they will provide an additional plus 1000 strength and defense to whatever metal you fuse them onto. Uh, but in order for the medals to count towards your application, you need to still have them, okay? So I highly recommend you do not fuse your Moogle medal into any <laughs> of your other medals until the sweepstakes is over, okay? Log in every day, claim your one free uh, pull on the metal sweeps, uh, the metal, the, blah, the banner sweepstakes until you can get as many Moogle medals as possible. Then once it's over, and the winners have been announced, then you can start fusing them onto your other medals. Last but not least, there's a, another event coins event that's currently happening at the moment where you can defeat the Titan. You're able to earn a power gem, a title, and up to 1,500 event coins. Now, honestly, I have I did this event. The last quest, and I'll just go to it real quick. So the last quest is honestly super hard. Like, really hard. I was I, I just decided to turtle the whole thing. I was not able to beat it in five or three turns, so I can't get the title. Honestly, I don't care about titles, okay? They don't do anything for the game. They're just they're just kind of there for aesthetic type purposes. Um, and you only really get to show them off in PvP either. That's the only mode that you can actually like kind of like show them off. Um, and you only get one free gem from this like hard ass event. So <laughs> it's kind of not worth it in my opinion. Um, you can just turtle it until you beat it to at least claim the uh, 1500 free jewels if needed. Um, but yeah, it's it's really hard. But anyways, that was it for today, guys. I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are about how the third anniversary is going at the moment. To be honest, in my opinion, I think it's going off in a much better start than what it did last year. Uh, this should have been more along the lines of the type of treatment that we should have gotten last year. Because we didn't really get much at all last year or anything at all last year. We got like a countdown event that didn't really lead up to anything. But the only type of advice I would kind of recommend to you guys before I leave off for today's video is the fact that I highly recommend you save your jewels. Uh, because realistically, what they tend to do in terms of anniversary is they kind of throw out a bunch of bait banners uh, for most of the month. And then at towards the very end of the anniversary month, that's when they pull out all of the really busted medals. Okay, so that's the only thing I kind of want to point out real quick. That's my advice, my recommendation. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know to upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.
Thank you.